Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Casually Explained. I'm your friendly neighborhood recruit dog, here to casually explain all things Rainbow Six Siege. Today, we're talking about Rook, so you guys know what that means. Time to pass those plates around and get started. Okay, so to play Rook, you just kind of drop your armor pack at the beginning of the match. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Calm down. It's just a bit of a meme. Our pal Rook deserves way more effort put into his video than just that. All right, all jokes aside, let's actually start the video. Casually explained. Rook, whose actual name is Julian Nizan, Nizan, Nissan, like the car. I, I don't know, I always butcher these names. <laughs> Anyways, he was born in Tours, France on January 6th, 1990. The youngest son of a working class family, at 18 years old, he enlisted in the Gendarmerie Nationale. It was here he realized his natural skills with firearms. He spent his time here mastering those skills until he was recognized by the GIGN, an elite tactical police unit. He was then, as you can probably guess, asked to join Team Rainbow. As a part of Team Rainbow Six, he is one of the five members of the GIGN. This includes Lion, although he's technically a part of the CBRN, an internal group within Rainbow Six, but he's originally one of the GIGN. He's also one of the 10 original defenders. Being a 3 armor, 1 speed operator, this makes him quite the thick boy. But I mean, if you had to carry around a bag holding 5 armor plates, you'd probably be a bit slow and clunky too. His loadout gives you the option of three different primaries. You've got your P90 submachine gun, your MP5 submachine gun, and your SG CQB shotgun. Let's start out with a gun I see 90% of Rook mains using, the sturdy and reliable MP5. This is one of the most well-balanced guns in the game in my opinion. Manageable recoil, a base damage of 30, and a fire rate of 800. You can't really go wrong with this thing. Take that and the fact that you can put an ACOG on it, and it's hard to see why you wouldn't choose this gun. And the all-holy ACOG definitely shouldn't be taken for granted. There's only a handful of defenders who can actually still use it anymore. Just, just, don't, bring it up, just don't bring it up around Jaeger or Bandit. It's a, it's a sensitive subject. Which leads us to our next primary weapon choice. The SG CQB Pump Action Shotgun. With a base damage of 50, this gun definitely shouldn't be underestimated. This is my favorite shotgun in the entire game. I know I said in the last episode that the Spetsnaz's SASG-12 was my favorite, but I had totally forgotten about this gun. With its insane stopping power, it's hard not to put it in the top spot, at least in terms of shotguns. For a relatively close distance, you can put anyone in the down but not out state with one shot. When I know I'm going to roam with Rook, this is my first choice. No one ever suspects the roaming Rook. Roaming with this gun with your armored plates equipped kind of makes you a, a bit of a mobile tank. Trust me, if you haven't tried this, try it. Those two weapon options alone are so good that I, I tend to just alternate between the two depending on the map. I'll stick with the MP5 for maps where you're going to have, you know, mostly medium to long range fights with the enemy team. Maps like Bank and Chalet. Then on maps with tighter corners and hallways, I'll use the pump action shotgun. Maps like Plane and uh, Yacht. You'll notice I left one of his primaries out of the two guns that I switched between. And that, that gun is the P90. This gun is a bit of a meme. With the two great guns I just listed, it's rare to see someone actually using this weapon seriously. And trust me, I don't mean to offend the three Rook mains out there right now that may be actually maining this gun as I speak. But I, I mean, come on, have you tried using this gun? The recoil is ridiculous. It has a base damage of 22 and a fire rate of 970. The ACOG can also be attached to this gun. Uh, the fire rate is the only thing that really saves this weapon for me. It is, it is a bit fun to use in casual. On top of that, I really just kind of like the way the gun looks. With the absurdly high mount on it, when you use the ACOG on it, it kind of just looks like a giraffe using a pair of binoculars. And I, I love that. We'll throw a little bit of love at the, at the P90. But in all honesty, if you're wanting headshots and a manageable recoil with a submachine gun, just, just go with the MP5. If you prefer giraffes using binoculars, uh, the, the P90 is the gun for you, I guess. This brings me to his options for pistols. This isn't something I'll spend too much time on, just because it's more of a personal preference. Rook players can choose between the LFP 5.86 revolver and a P9 handgun. They're both great in their own right. I've seen people who are amazing with a revolver, people who just seem to disregard its recoil and absolutely destroy people with it. 
Uh, and then there's people like me who are complete ass with this gun, who can barely use the thing without wanting to throw their controller at the TV. So uh, Rook is one of those operators that tends to be overlooked. An operator that might be on some people's list of boring ops to play. And while he may be a bit simplistic, there's one thing about him that makes him a great pick for your team. Safety. By that I mean he's a safe pick. Has your team already picked their operators and you're not sure which op to pick to complement them? Boom. Go Rook. You literally cannot go wrong with Rook. He will always be helpful to not only you, but your entire team. Rook comes equipped with a satchel that carries 5 armor plates for you and your teammates. Once equipped, they grant a 20% in damage reduction to all operators. Not only that, but they guarantee you to go into the down but not out state when shot instead of actually being killed. It goes without saying though, even with these benefits, nothing can save you from a well-timed headshot. One headshot from any weapon at all, and you dead. Straight to death. No down but out state included. But on the bright side, if you are down while wearing the armor plates, the bleed out timer actually doubles. Instead of only 60 seconds to be revived, you now actually get 120. Another plus to his armor plates is that once worn, they essentially raise your armor rating, but does not lower your speed. Essentially, you can be one of the thick boys without actually having to be slow like the thick boys. This next part I'm going to say very slowly, because it is very important. When playing Rook, don't forget to drop the armor. Let's say it again. Don't forget to drop the armor. I can't tell you how many times I've had to message our Rook mid-game with the word armor, just to remind him of his one responsibility. I mean, I get it. Maybe you don't play Rook very often. Maybe someone else picked your main, so you had to pick an op last second, which happened to be Rook, and it slipped your mind. It happens. It's just kind of annoying is all. So I'm going to pass along this pro tip someone once told me. When the round starts, and listen close, because this, this is, I can't, I cannot stress this enough. When the round starts, just drop the armor. Just drop the armor. Wherever you're standing, just press the key or the button that drops the armor for your team. Don't try to reinforce your walls first. Don't set up your shield. Don't open the wall between bombs. Just drop the armor. Think about the poor calf that just wants to reinforce her walls and dip out. She either has to wait around for you to finish what you're doing, or just say screw it and go without the armor. For one armor plate around, you can keep cav mains like this happy and healthy. Won't you please give your plates today? All memes aside, Rook is one of the few ops without a counter. I mean, technically his armor plates won't save you from Capitao's Firebolt or Twitch's Shock Drone, but I don't really feel like those count. You can drop your armor, then roam as a mobile tank, or anchor the objective with your thick ass. You can't really go wrong with our friend Rook. At the end of the day, just remember to be kind to your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. To Chonka bless you all, please have a great day. I trust that the ceramic trauma plate I'm wearing will stop a 357 Magnum round traveling at 490 meters per second. I trust myself not to move, not to flinch. I trust my teammates. And they trust me.